Hey, good evening guys. Welcome to tonight's Let's Chat episode 3. I'm your host, Oscar Elias, and today we have a bit of a different format. I don't have a full script. As you can tell, I have little note cards that I, I don't know if you guys can see. With the, I just kind of scribble and chicken scratch stuff that I want to talk about. And we're going to see how this goes. Um, yeah, let's find out. So without further ado, 3, 2, 1, let's chat. So tonight we have Doom. That's a game I did on... Uh, Saturday's Let's Play. It was uh, 8 hours and 50 something minutes. It was almost 9. So we're talking about that. We're going to talk about SteamWorld Heist, which is an indie game um, I just picked up on another recommendation from my friend Nick. Uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Mutants in Manhattan. And I just completed that game. That game came out a while ago. I picked it up when it first came out. And I've been playing it. I like it. We're going to talk some of my uh, plans for this week and things coming up. So let's roll into Doom. Now, Doom is developed by It Software and is published by Bethesda. And um, without further ado, I'm going to give you my score in this game. It's a five. It's a high five. Now, <clears throat> the reason I just plainly give it out like that, um, this game's been out for a while. So if you don't know Doom or the, the video game Doom, you probably don't know video games that well, which is fine. Uh, but graphically, sound... Uh, gameplay, just overall package, uh, the game is phenomenal. So the single player uh, story campaign is on uneasy. I played it. I was about nine hours. I'm assuming on normal, probably because of the larger enemies and the bigger scale of the of its entirety. I would say it's probably about ten hours closer. Especially if you're finding secrets. I didn't find all the secrets. It's just kind of ran through it um completely worth it just the story alone uh the campaign worth it but this game also comes with a multiplayer which is tons of fun um a little controversy about uh, the multiplayer in the gaming world people weren't huge fans of it um i don't see why the game's awesome uh the multiplayer is fast paced oh not as fast fast paced i would say as the the campaign but a lot faster than you'd say your Call of Duty or your definitely your Battlefield. Everything's close quarters. Um, I don't like the the fact that it's team based. A lot of the matches are team based. I like free for all. It's more arena oriented. If it wasn't for the demon rooms, I would say it's almost harken back to Quake Arena or something like that. Maybe. Uh, as I said, I didn't think about that one. There's no quote me on that one. Um, so it's got single player, multiplayer. And snap mode. Now, snap mode is used by the the Bucketheads, the Doom community. Now, in, in snap mode, you get to create uh, your own map, and you snap it together using the user interface. That alone is worth itself, because that's pretty much like Minecraft, but for Doom. I myself have played games that other people have made on the on the on snap mode, and I love it. I think a lot of those are phenomenal and you, you hear me mention my friend Nicola we play a lot of games together and we played a few of uh, the co-op campaigns on developed for snap mode by the community and they're pretty cool uh, they have different objectives most of them are run from point A to point B while killing demons awesome um, yeah so if you have a PS4 Xbox One or a PC pick up Doom if you haven't uh, you won't regret it just be aware there's a lot of demonic stuff into the game. So, yeah. That, those are my thoughts on Doom. 5 out of 5. Seriously. Um, Steam World Heist. Now, Steam World Heist is developed by Image and Form. And it is an indie game. Um, it, it, does, it did come out for 3DS, PS4, PS Vita, uh, Xbox, I think even PC. Uh, it's... Pretty much anywhere, like whatever system you have, I'm pretty sure you can find Steam World Heist. And this is the, I guess, uh, the third in a series. The the last one was Steam World Dig. I have not played Steam World Dig. Uh, I picked up Steam World Heist because my friend Nick recommended it, and I, I would say the the gameplay is somewhat like to um, these side scroller, maybe like uh, Double Dragon, Castlevania. No, more Metroid. You know what? Uh, I was gonna say it's more Metroid with the, the way the maps are kind of set up, uh, except you're not jumping around like in Metroid or Castlevania. It's uh, tactics based, 
So I would compare more like Final Fantasy Tactics or, um, yeah, Final Fantasy Tactics. I think one of the most popular ones. Tactics Ogre. Um, it's turn-based. You have a certain amount of uh, spaces you can move within the map. And you get to free aim with your character. So it's 2D. You move around and you aim. And wherever you aim, there is, imagine like a pool. Like a, yeah, like pool. You're like, got to try to bank shots and land on an on, land a hit on an enemy, land criticals, uh, headshots seem to count, body shots seem to count, so, uh, I would recommend this game, uh, if I was to rate it, overall graphics, sound, quality of the overall package, and, uh, gameplay, um, I'll give it a three, three out of five, because it does what it does well enough. For an indie game, and it's like a twenty dollar game. I wouldn't say it's like fifteen right now, um, but what it, it has a set goal and it accomplishes it. And for the prize, you're getting a pretty decent, getting pretty decent value. And I think that's what we all want: is value in our games. I think Steam World does it. Uh, don't go expecting you know orchestras and uh, great three D effects. This is a two D game, so uh, at least check it out. Uh, it's digital download. Um, up next, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Turtles in Manhattan. No, Mutants in Manhattan, that's what it is. Um, I just beat that game on Sunday, and I had like two missions left on the game. Um, it has an easy, normal, I think hard, and I think there's another one right after it. So I picked it up when it first came out, and I've been playing it ever since, uh, in small doses. And I played it in small doses just because I don't find the game to be... Very captivating. Um, it does have nice, quick little elements to the combat that shine in certain spots, and that's what kind of keeps you going. But for the most part, I don't know what happened with the developer, but it's like they forgot that it's a combo-based game where you play as Ninja Turtles doing cool feats. I mean, Ninja Turtles should be doing what Ninja Turtles do. And it just um, wasn't up to par what I expected. Um, there is one point in the game, and it's, I'm gonna tell you this right now, so it's a spoiler. It's right at the end of the game, after you beat the campaign, um, there's a credit, an action credits, I guess you would call it. So you're in a basketball court, it's a basketball court, and a bunch of uh, Foot Clan ninjas come in and attack, and it's, it's gotta be like a hundred of them. And the combat really shines in this area. Um, you start dashing, you start dodging, you start banking off enemies, so you kill one enemy and uh, transition into the next one because the combo system, while not very deep or complex, it's simple enough where it's it's enjoyable. Um, it reminds me a lot of Transformers Devastation. Uh, it is the same developer. It's uh, Platinum, Platinum Games. So I can see where the, the similarities uh, got meshed up, I guess. But it really shined there, and, and the... <laughs> The actual game, I, I recall fighting like, oh, okay, there's four enemies, let me fight them. And you fight the four enemies and all that happens is they have a ton of health. I'm like, well, that's kind of all right, I guess. But it was a lot more fun having tons of enemies on the screen. And it is four player online only, which is cool. But honestly, the game is just, if you're not a fan, you're probably not going to enjoy it as much. I would give it a two. This is, it's, it's stylish, it's, uh, it's a weird, cel-shaded game, um, but due to the nostalgia, I mean, if you, if you like the Turtles, give it a try. It's at least worth the rent, though. I think the game came out at $39.99, it wasn't even full, full price, like $60. So I think they, they knew what they were selling you. So check it out at the store, or find it on sale. Uh, I buy all my games, all of my games. <laughs> on uh, PSN because they're cheaper and it's kind of easier just to press a button and switch to the game instead of getting out of my chair and changing the disc. No, that's not the reason, but it, it's a lot easier. Um, yeah, I would give it a 3 out of 5 with nostalgia. Otherwise, two, I would say skip on Ninja Turtles if you're not a fan. So, um, so let's talk about Friday. Let's talk about what, baby? No. So Friday. I am 
going to play Resident Evil HD Remake. This is one of the games that uh, PSN gave us for free, along with Transformers Devastation. And I, Transformers I played last Friday, and it was only for a little bit. Of, it was okay. Um, I just didn't, wasn't feeling it. But I think I'm going to do a Let's Play on Transformers. Oh, I am. I don't think I am. I am. And I don't think I'm going to beat the game on Resident Evil. Sorry, I said Transformers. I'm in Resident Evil. And it's going to be a Let's Play on Friday. I might keep it up for like three hours. Maybe four. I'm debating the fourth hour. But for sure, I'm going to do three hours. And it's it's this is a remake of a remake of the HD PS3 game that came out. Oh, it doesn't matter. The game looks good. It, look, it looks. It still looks uh, entertaining. I played uh, the opening scenes with Joe Valentine and Chris Redfield. So I hope oh, you can you can pick between the two. So I did that. Um, so we'll do that. Let's play on Friday and let you guys. Hopefully, you guys can join in and talk to me on it because that was really cool. That's one cool thing about Doom. I got to talk to uh, to people on the YouTube community. Um, and that was fun. That was actually very fun. I liked it. So Resident Evil on Friday. There's going to be a Let's Play. For sure three hours. May go four hours. Um, I doubt I'll complete it. But we're going to we're gonna try. I think we're going to try. Yeah. And we're going to do the movie review. <sighs> kind of hesitant to talk about it. But I'm going to tell you guys anyway. So I really want to do Lights Out. Um, it's on digital release this Tuesday. Um. October the 11th. And I can order it on PSN. I don't know if I can rent it. I don't think I want to purchase this movie. So if I'm not going to be able to rent it, I'm not going to review it. Um, just because it's not going to be out in, in mass you know, platform. So you're not going to be able to buy the disc or go rent it at a red box. I don't believe. It's only a digital exclusive for the moment. So... If I can't get rent it, I'm going to rent uh, The Witch. Maybe. Or The Darkness. Which, I'm not too sure about The Darkness. I know, I've seen The Witch um, when it first came out. So I might review that one. I, I thought it was okay. But a lot of stuff was going on while I was watching it. So I really didn't get to focus on it. So this time I focus on it. But... Right now I got uh, two to one on the darkness, so I think the darkness is gonna win. That one of those will be my movie review for Friday. I wanted to do Godzilla, or Shin Godzilla, but unfortunately that's not a mass release either, so I'm not gonna review that one. If you guys can't watch it, by the way, I'm not gonna review it. So any illegal downloads, I'm not gonna do, or anything that's not out for the masses, I'm not gonna review. Um, just because it wouldn't be fair for me to talk about something that you guys can't watch either. If it's good, I mean, if it's bad, then maybe. No, I'm just kidding. I still wouldn't do it. Um, so Saturday, I have a Let's Play on Saturday, and that's my day for Let's Play with the community. Hopefully you guys can join me, talk to me there, uh, check games. Um, this Saturday, I'm doing Outlast. And like for Resident Evil, I'm not going to be in a party for like I was on Doom. So I have my friend Nick, and my friend Robbie, and my friend Tam. They kept me company through um, Doom's gameplay. But I think that was okay for Doom. While... Outlast and Resident Evil, I find the the atmosphere might not be suiting to suited to have other people in the party talking to me about other stuff while we're trying to portray a sense of fear. Because honestly, I don't know anything about Outlast. I don't know anything. My friend told me, "Hey, play it. It's scary." My wife couldn't keep up with it. Uh, my friend's next wife, her name's Kristen. She couldn't keep up with it. So I'm gonna play it. I'm a little worried about it because I'm gonna start it late. I think Saturday, less plays gonna be whenever sun goes down. So down here in Texas, maybe 8:30. Um, I don't know. I, all I looked it up online. It's like five, ten hours depending on how you play. I'm really bad at games, so I don't know. I might be there all night. That one I do want to beat though. I do want to beat out last. Um, I'm gonna try to. I'm gonna try to. That's gonna be my goal. To beat up last before Sunday morning. So that's, I would say, like, before 5.30 a.m. on Sunday. That's my goal. So, uh, we'll see. Don't spoil Outlast. I want to be surprised by it. I want to be scared. 
Um, I'm trying to get a camera by then so we can do um, face to face when I play it. I think that'll be cool. Yeah. So those are my plans for the week. Um, currently, I'm going to talk about some games that I'm playing right now. Oh. And one of them is Vermitide Warhammer. This is, uh, what, is, what would you consider this game? I guess it's kind of like uh, Left 4 Dead, Left 4 Dead 2. But instead of playing like modern day people, you play medieval warriors like an elf or a dwarf and a wizard and some knights. It's cool. I enjoy playing it because I get to play with my friends and we get to cooperatively tackle on giant rats that are trying to bring down the moon to get whatever material the moon's made out of. No, it's kind of kind of out there. Uh, the setting is very gothic, very medieval. Not gothic, I would say Dark Ages. No. I really like it. And I think I like the game more just because I get to play it with my friends because it's not a very polished experience. It, it just came out last Tuesday. And there's already a, there was already a patch for it. My friend Robbie plays inverted and the invert mechanism on it kept resetting every time he played in it. So he wasn't having a good time. Saturday they released the patch that fixed that problem, which is awesome. That means that they were listening to our complaints. I put a complaint on it. My game crashed on me. It still crashes every now and then on the PS4. Um, but just the overall experience with it, I love it. I like it. Uh, I'm probably not going to review it, but I would check it out. Uh, I'm playing Transformers Devastation on easy still. I might have to switch that over to normal because now that I'm getting back into the action game genre, I'm starting to get used to the combos and pulling out the moves and it's kind of easy and I find that boring. So I might switch that over to normal and see how that does. Um, Paragon, I'm still playing a lot of Paragon. Uh, there's a new map coming soon. Let's see how that is. Um, if you guys haven't checked out Paragon, it is free to play on the PS4 and I believe PC as well. Sorry, Xbox. No Xbox. Love. Um, I tried playing Rainbow Six and Rainbow Six Siege is a first person shooter tactical base gameplay. I mean, you can't, you can, you can go run and gun, but more, more than likely you're going to have a bad time. Um, so working together with a team, it's five on five is the way to go. And I played with my friend, um, Nick. Like I said, me and Nick play a lot of the same game, so it's kind of fun. And, man, I just, I kept getting killed. I haven't, I haven't played that in about a month now. And I want to get into it because it was really fun, but I was not having a time getting killed. And this this game, it's not like Call of Duty. You get killed once and that's it. You're done for that round. It's not like, how oh, I'm going to respawn and keep coming back. Not at all. No. So, the games I'm playing right now. Uh, I wonder what you guys are playing. Is there anything... Fun that you guys are kind of looking forward to or seeing in the horizon that like hey I want to play this um, let me know in the comment section please uh, talk to me about what kind of games you're playing and or what movies too I mean this is a little bit of movie chatting too going on uh, speaking of movies coming up uh, did you guys check out the Power Rangers trailer I know I've been talking to like everybody at work and all my friends on PSN about it and I and my sister, because we used to watch Power Rangers together, me and my sister. My sister and I. Proper. No, my sister and I used to watch this a lot, and I'm a huge fan of Power Rangers. Um, I was telling one of my coworkers, I'm like a <laughs> closet Power Rangers fan, because I still kind of keep up with the lore. I don't watch it because I don't have, like, cable TV or whatever. Whatever. I don't really watch television. I watch it online if I, if I feel like it. Um... But apparently, it is directed by Dean Israelite, and it stars Brian Crast Cranston as Sordon and Elizabeth Banks as Rita Repulsa. And it has a bunch of other actors. I'm not going to go into. I'm not going to get too much into it right now. But wow, Bill Hader is doing the vo the voice of Alpha Five, and if you guys don't know, uh, Bill Hader is the guy that did the voice of BB-8. In Star Wars Episode Seven, so, huh? I'm actually like the more the more I read about this movie and the more I see about it, the more excited I get about it. Um, I'm pumped for it. I, I love Power Rangers as a kid. I like the the trailer that they just released. Can't wait to see um, more trailers. I don't want to see the swords. I don't want to see the Mega Sword, and I definitely if they have. Uh, Goldar or any of the other 
classic monsters remain. I don't think I'm going to see those yet. I think I'm going to wait till the movie comes out. Um, that's one thing I'm, I've been really avoiding now is trailers. So I have not watched any uh, trailers for Doctor Strange. I haven't watched any trailers for Rogue One past the initial one. Uh, the teaser trailer they released a few months ago. But I'm, I've been really staying off of them. Been keeping uh, fresh eyes. So when the movie does come out, I get to review it. Um, I don't know. If you guys want, maybe we could do like a trailer review where we could talk about a trailer. I mean, I, I watched the teaser trailer for Power Rangers because I had to. I literally had to. I, I was expecting it to be crap. And um, one of my favorite um, movie commentators, reviewers, um, John Campios, I was listening to his uh, take on it and he totally nailed it. And I was, I was thinking the exact same thing when I saw the trailer. And I'm sure you guys were too because I think that's what they were aiming for. But it had a Breakfast Club feel to it where it's these misfits, five misfits, in a looks like cafeteria, lunch cafeteria, hang out on a Saturday morning because they're they suck at life or school, not life, but um, they they know that I think it's gonna be pretty cool. I, I hope it is. I'm really looking forward to it. Um, that's it. That's my last chat. We're going at 21 minutes. I rambled on because I didn't have a script, and it was kind of fun. I did enjoy doing it this way more. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. So remember, talk to me about games, talk to me about movies, talk to me about this new format that I'm, I'm doing. Um, it's a little more casual for me, and I like it. Um, I'm going to keep the same format for the movie reviews, but I think this is how my Let's Chat's going to be. More of kind of like a video blog of what's going on and what I, I like to do. Um, yeah, I want to know your thoughts, though. Let me know what you guys think. Um, subscribe to the channel if you want to keep up with my movie reviews or my or the my let's play I'm definitely gonna be doing let's plays Saturdays and Friday nights or Sunday mornings I have to give my friends I would do a let's play uh, of a team-based game or versus matches of Call of Duty like uh, harkening back to the old split screen but we're gonna do online maybe just the four four of my friends you know facing each other uh, on uh, free for all, but we used to do that a lot in Black Ops Three because we kind of didn't like the online community, so we might do that. Um, either way, comment in the section below, hit like if you like the video, um, and if you want to keep up with what I'm bringing out, hit that subscribe button and stay up to date with it. But that's it for me tonight, guys. Again, I'm Oscar Elias. This is Let's Chat Episode Three. See you guys next time.